What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you off this cool plugin that I found for Revit. It's called a color splasher and it's used in order to, well, splash some color on your Revit models. So it's a really cool, I, I guess I would, I would call it a filtering tool uh, that allows you to uh, select a category of elements in, in your model, then to select a certain parameter for that category and then to assign different colors to those parameters uh, just depending on the parameter values so it's really cool and uh, if it doesn't make sense now don't worry as soon as I start showing it off in Revit it will now before we get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe because I make useful tutorials like this every week. I make multiple tutorials and also I do one advanced Balkan Architect course. All of these courses are over one hour long and you can find them on my Patreon. First link in the description of this video. There I've got over 45 hours of content and also all of my Revit project files. So if you're interested in something like that, check it out. Also there in the description you can find the link to download this exact plugin. So you can try it off on your computer. Okay, without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Now for this demonstration, I'm just going to be using this uh, building project that I have. This is a simple one family home uh, that I've modeled in Revit previously for a course. And if you want to find that course out, uh, it's available on my Patreon. It's a five hour course. And also there you can find the project file uh, for this if you want to follow along with this tutorial. Anyways, so uh, I have installed the uh, color splasher and here you will see uh, on my ribbon, I have uh, next to the modify uh, tab, I have the BIM1 uh, tab added. So if I just open up that uh, BIM1 tab, you will see that under tools, I have the color splasher. Now, uh, when you start up color splasher, it basically works by affecting the view that you're in. So here we are in this uh, default 3D view. So that's what we're going to be affecting. Now this uh, works uh, with a, just a simple uh, simple panel and here we have just three settings. So the first settings, uh, setting is to set up the uh, filter. So basically you choose the category you want to uh, color splash or color code. So uh, in this case, uh, let's try out with walls. So I'm just going to check here walls as a category. And now you will notice that uh, these are all of the categories that you have. So you're not going to find everything, but you are going to find most of the categories that you have in your Revit model. Uh, now, if I just go here below, you will see that here we have the parameters. And then uh, here you can choose one of the wall parameters. Now here it includes pretty much all of the parameters, both the type and instance parameters for your walls. And uh, just to have uh, have it display different colors, I'm going to choose to color code by the length of each wall segment. Now, uh, as you probably noticed, when I clicked here on length, when I chose that parameter, here the values uh, panel has changed and here we have a lot of these colors. Now, as you can see, these are strange different colors and here each color has a, a different number in it. So uh, as you can see here, we have pretty much uh, all of uh, these colors and the numbers are indicating the uh, length of the wall segment. So uh, now once we uh, have have this uh, these uh, this color coating or these values, we can just go ahead and apply the color set. And as you can see, the building here will uh, apply those colors on walls. Now here, the uh, bottom wall, the 1500 one, uh, is uh, in this uh, red color, red-ish color. And here you can see this is the longest wall on this building. So that's the one that highlights in that color. And then uh, all of the smaller walls are in other colors. So for example, this one over here, I'm guessing that's this color here, and so on and so forth. So I, I can just close out of this uh, color splasher window. And as you can see, the uh, color uh, scheme will uh, still stay. Now it does mess up the graphics a little bit. Well, it doesn't mess them up, but it does have these weird uh, uh, color, uh, weird graphics that you don't usually see in the Revit. It's kind of similar to some other software, maybe something like SketchUp with these no edges or something like that. 
but anyways that's what the color splasher does so now you can see just by uh, just by length uh, the color coding of these walls now this isn't particularly useful just because uh, each color is so much different so we're not really pulling uh, out that much uh, useful information so if I just go here and start up the color splasher again uh, we can uh, just uh, go ahead and maybe uh, just go for walls again let's set them by uh, length and now here as you can see we get a new uh, color scheme so we can apply this new color set so as you can see it just changes the colors but what you can also do is click here on rainbow and uh, now notice that when I click on rainbow it has uh, basically applied the bottom uh, color here and on top it has applied the top color which was green now you can refresh again so as you can see now we have orange on top and then we have this grayish brownish color on the bottom so if I just rainbow that it will go from orange to that grayish color what this means is that you can basically edit this uh, this color scheme so if I just go up here and maybe set this up to yellow and then click OK and then if I go to the bottom and set this to blue let's go with this blue click OK and now if I rainbow that it will go from yellow to blue so basically you can play around with the gradient value and I prefer using gradient values for this just because when we apply the color set as you can see now you can just take a look at that gradient and it, uh, it, it it's kinda uh, easier to read the lengths of each wall segments like this instead of uh, having different colors for each uh, for for each wall. Now let me start off the color splasher again and let's clear the set. Okay, so now as you can see the model is clean. So now I can just go ahead and maybe uh, apply uh, something to Windows. Maybe go by uh, type. Let's see. Here we go. Type. Now here we, as you can see, we have four types. So I can just maybe rainbow that or maybe change this to orange or something. Okay, looks a bit better. Now, if I just uh, apply this color set and then let's close it off, as you can see, all of the windows will light up in that color. And as you can see, they uh, they keep their transparency, but they get a little bit of a tint in that color, which I think it's really cool. Uh, it's really nice that it doesn't uh, make the uh, windows non-transparent and uh, also it doesn't make them completely transparent so it does keep a little bit of that shade of color so I, I like that very much but if you just go back to the color splasher you can now apply a different a different filter to a different parameter of a different category and you can have a couple of these uh, uh, light up at the same time so if I select doors for example let's uh, basically go by type again let's create a rainbow again and let's uh, apply this color set now if you just close this off you will see that here it has colored the doors as well so the doors are now in these colors so you can apply multiple uh, color sets like this and it's a lot more efficient and a lot uh, quicker and easier to work with and more intuitive than using filters so if you have to make a quick color coding or selection this is the, definitely the way to go now one more thing that I would like to show you and let's do I don't know let's go again with walls let's let's go with length and uh, if you're happy with the color scheme or if you maybe have a color scheme that gives you uh, some important information you can uh, just uh, let's apply that or let's clear set and then apply okay there we go now we have just walls now if you want to reuse maybe this in different projects or if you want to maybe make some changes to this project and then reapply the color scheme again uh, a bit later on uh, what you can do at uh, any point is you can go here and save the color scheme so you can just uh, go ahead and save it now as you can see it's the color scheme files format it's the dot c s c h format now you can save it and later on you can just come in and load that same color scheme uh, for uh, perhaps either either a different project or the same project later on so uh, if you're happy with the color scheme if it pulls in important information or uh, shows you graphically some important information that you need to uh, get from the model this is the way that you can just uh, keep that saved and then reuse it later on so I think it's a really useful tool
Okay, I'm just going to cancel out of that. Uh, so that's the color splasher tool uh, in Revit. So I hope this was interesting. And again, as I said, you can download this uh, plugin. I will leave the link in the description. Also, I will leave the link to my Patreon where you can find this building project file. Uh, as you can see, it's quite an interesting project file. Let's go maybe to technical files. So I have a very complex floor plan here. We have an exploded diagram, a bunch of uh, a legend, a schedule, a section. So I show you in depth how to create this building. I have a five hour course and I have a lot more courses. There's over 45 hours of content there uh, so far. And I upload new hour each week. So if you're interested in something like that, uh, check it out first link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.